It's daybreak in northern India. As the city of Ludhiana emerges from darkness, Muslim and Sikh prayers drone over loudspeakers from countless places of worship. Men in turbans emerge from their homes, and street vendors start cooking the day's spicy fare. In one small corner of this city, population 1.3 million, a crowd of Christian staff and students fills a breezy chapel with standing room only. Under a wooden cross, the students intone in Hindi to the beat of a tambourine, we are singing unto thee. This small corner of the city is Ludiana Christian Medical College. The school, surrounded by auto rickshaws, honking motorcyclists, and bicycles laden with heavy loads, bears some resemblance to Christian institutions in the United States. It employs common symbols, for example, and common scriptures. But seated in a city where religion so noticeably touches all aspects of life, the clothing, the food, morning routines, Ludiana Christian Medical College goes farther than many similar institutions. It makes worship central every day, all day long. The religious life at the school and its teaching hospital starts at 7 a.m. with a daily audio broadcast throughout the hospital of scripture, prayer, and music. Two daily worship services in chapels, one for students and one for staff, follow at 7.30 a.m. At 9.15 a.m., the seven chaplains of the school and hospital began their corridor rounds, standing next to snack stands, inside waiting rooms, beside elevators, and in airy hallways. The chaplains greet anxious family members and write down the names of their sick relatives who are in need of prayers. The chaplains make about a dozen stops a day. At each stop, Muslims, Sikhs, Hindus, and Christians alike bow their heads in prayer. The language that the chaplains use is Christian, but the message works for everyone. These are all religious people, Indians, so when you say prayer, they are all attached, said Reverend Stanley Thomas, the head chaplain. No one will disrespect prayer. You just have to initiate. After corridor rounds, the chaplains go to their assigned hospital wards to talk individually with patients until evening arrives. At the end of each day, the hospital's audio system comes alive again with 20 minutes of prayers, scriptures, and music. And then it's just a matter of hours before Ludiana wakes up again to the sounds of its many religions' prayers. <laughs> 